Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I've just been kind of consumed lately with cable cars. And the cable cars I'm talking about are the ones that, you know, are kind of like a gondola. It takes you from one point to another by some type of pulley system. And I'm thinking, you know, there, there's some, there's somehow, some way I can build this to get it to work, to go across some type of cable system. And I did it. So if you want to see this, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So there's different ways that you can do a gondola or you know cable car type system. I just knew I wanted to make something where it was easy and I just wanted to get the concept of it traveling along the cable or the wires. So in this build, I made it as super easy as I can. I just had the brick and motors in the video, you're going to see where it looks like both motors are going, but I have the axle going through both, and I actually only have the C motor going. So the program's super easy, too. It's just a move tank, um, but with just one motor. And you can kind of experiment on your own to see what works for you, but it was just a, you know, I want it to go pretty slow, just so I could see it traveling. And um, in the video, you're going to see where it's just, you know, I'm going to go back one, you know, forward one way and back the other. But I just wanted to see if the concept would work. So, you know, if you guys have other ideas for another type system, it would be awesome. You know, obviously you can involve gears and other things like that. But for this one, I tried to make this as simple as possible. So let's go to the video.
Okay, guys, so hopefully you liked um, my version of the cable car gondola type robot here. It was super easy to make. What was not easy was getting the, you know, just the the, or the yarn or string that I used to get it to be perfect and the, you know, the tension to be just right. There was a lot of trial and error of it being too loose and having to tighten it. And, but it, it eventually in the end worked. So hopefully you liked it and it was simple enough that I think all of you guys can do that. Okay. All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mission Hills Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. <laughs>